Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Shelly from Beach Love and Mama, and I've been tagged. I got tagged by Karina from Life's Little Things, and if you haven't seen her channel, you really need to go check her out. She is such a sweetheart. Um, she's one of the sweetest people on YouTube that I've found. She's so supportive of channels that are growing and, um, she's like my biggest fan. Every one of my videos I can count on her to comment on and give me feedback and I just love that. Um, she's so supportive and encouraging and she makes me want to continue this YouTube thing because sometimes it gets really tough. There's lots of channels out there who say they want to support small channels, and yet as soon as they start to hit those milestones, they lose track of that, and they don't. And Karina's channel is not one of those. She's so encouraging, and I've seen her comment on other people's videos, and she always comments on mine. And on top of that, I just love her family. She's another homeschool family, and I just think they are the sweetest family, how they get along and interact with each other, and they obviously all obviously all care about each other a lot and have a lot of respect for each other and they still do things together even though her boys are in college. It's encouraging for me as a homeschool mom to see the relationship that she has with her boys now as they're in college and um, I'm hoping that I can have that kind of relationship with my kids as they get older too. So anyway, without further ado, let me go ahead and answer the questions. Um, so uh, the first question was things I'm good at. And I'm going to tell you one of the things I'm not good at is bragging on myself. That's really a tough thing to do. So I asked Allie Jo to help me out with this and give me some um, help with things that she thinks I'm good at. So these are the things that she and I came up with together. Um, the first one was homeschooling. And that was hers. Um, and I think I probably am good at homeschooling, even though I feel like over the years I've failed in so many ways. And I'm always wondering, you know, if my kids are really getting everything they need. I'm sure every homeschooling mom feels that way. But we are still homeschooling after eight years. And so I guess if I've been homeschooling that long, then I must be doing something right. The second thing was being a wife. I do my very best to be a good wife to my husband and support him and take care of him. Um, I want him to come home from work every day and feel loved and feel like there's nothing that he needs to do and everything has been taken care of. Now, if I did work outside of the home, I would expect him to pick up some of that slack and help me out. But because I am a stay-at-home mom, I feel like that is my job and I should be taking care of all of that for him. That's just my opinion. Um, the number three thing that I'm good at, um, I feel is persevering. Um, one thing that I've maybe touched on a tad in my videos, but not as much as, um, I just don't like to talk about it a whole ton, is that I do have connective tissue disease, and because of that, I have a lot of muscle and joint pain. Um, I have some skin issues, so a lot of times my face is really red and splotchy, and um, there's a lot of days that I just don't feel good, and I'm, I, I hurt. Um, but I try my best to put a smile on and continue about my day, and um, I feel like if, if you wake up and you show up and you put your smile on and choose joy, joy chooses you back. And a lot of times once I get going, I forget that I'm in pain and I can just, um, I end up having a great day. So that is one thing that I feel like I'm good at is pushing past that and just living my life and being there for my kids and my husband. Um, okay. So the second question is YouTubers who inspire me. Um, I had to think on this one a little bit because, um, there's a lot of people in my everyday life who inspire me, but I know them on such a deep level. And I think on on YouTube, you may not get to know people on that deep of a level to, 
to, to really be inspired. But when I think about the people on YouTube who um, I, I never miss their videos, I watch them all the time, and often I their true personalities come through in their videos, and I can see that, you know, when they're hurting, when they're happy, when they're sad, um, when they're struggling, um, when they have, um, like, completed milestones and really, um, those kind of things inspire me when I see um, s some things that they've done in their life and overcome. So <clears throat> the first one that I want to mention is Moss Family TV. Um, I love that channel. And when she posted videos, I never, ever missed her videos. Um, I just think they are a very sweet Christian family. And um, they are also a homeschool family. I just love to watch their interaction with each other. It's really fun. Recently, she just did decide to stop doing day in the life of vlogs on her Moss Family TV channel. And she's focusing on their... Um, uh, Titus Moss and Heaven's Rhythm, I think is the name of the channel. I'll link it below. But it's um, her family channel that focuses more on their gospel band. So, but she does do a vlog every week on that. So I still watch that and it's really awesome. The second channel I'll mention is Shelly's Home Life. Um, Shelly, I've watched her for years and years and years, when I first started watching YouTube, um, she was one of the first channels that I started watching and her weight loss journey. And then most recently, I've seen um, in her most recent videos as she's had her knee injury, it's been obvious to me that she is hurting. It does come through and I'm like, something's just not right. And that's when she announced that she was having the knee pain. Um, but she's another one that even though she was having that knee pain, she still does those videos she puts on her smile and she does those videos and she chooses joy and I can appreciate that. Um, and then the last one that I want to mention is Susanna from Found in Alaska. Found in Alaska is her channel. She and her husband Tom live in Alaska and she does um, basically daily vlogs. Um, she follows her weight loss journey. I haven't watched her from the beginning. I just found her back in December, but from what I can take from her videos, she's lost about 150 pounds and she does like a low carb diet. So she will do, um, she will do meal preps for the week and videos like that. And she is amazing. I just love to watch her and her husband and, um, I, she's one of my favorites. Okay, so next question is, what do you do to relax? And I think, um, when I think about what I do to relax, probably um, watch TV or sit on my deck with my husband in the evening or take a walk with my dog. Um, and ultimately, the, the biggest thing I do to relax is when I go to the beach. Um, Going to the beach on vacation is like the ultimate in relaxation. If I'm like reading a good book on the beach, that's the happiest I ever am. I mean, come on. My name is Beach Love and Mama. Okay. So next question. What are three things <clears throat> that you are excited about? Um, coming up next week. I am excited about the homeschool convention. I always love going to the homeschool convention and checking out all the new curriculum that's out, and I am excited about that. Um, number two, I'm excited because my we just purchased a new house uh, about three weeks ago, and it's finally all coming together, and un I've been unpacking. It's just the process is crazy, and it's all starting to finally come together. Um... And the third thing I'm excited about is summer. I'm so, so excited this year about the warmer weather and being able to get outside and enjoy my new house, and I just cannot wait. Okay, so the last question was, who am I tagging? And again, this was a really tough one for me because I, um, I am a small channel. I don't have very many subscribers yet, and so... 
most of the people that I follow have more subscribers than me. And it's really hard to ask somebody who has like high subscribers to like to tag them because you don't even know if they watch your channel or if they even know you exist. So um, I tried to pick a couple people who um, I do think watch my channel and also are somewhat smaller channels. And so I picked two. And the first one that I want to mention, her channel is Cheryl and Family. She is a daily vlogger, and she has been, um, she actually recently just hit a milestone, and she um, reached one year anniversary of being on YouTube. Um, she also, on the same day, hit 1,000 subscribers. So um, they're just a really fun family. She's very consistent and posts videos every day, and um, they're just a really sweet homeschooling family. Um, I love to watch her videos. Um, another one that I want to tag is Mama Schmooze Reviews. Um, and her name is Lindsay. She's a young mom. She is homeschooling, um, but she's just starting out. I think she has a two and a four year old. So she's homeschooling this year. She's homeschooling preschool. She'll be starting kindergarten next year. And she is such a sweetheart, really, really sweet mama. She does some very fun things with her kids. Um, she's always sharing different ideas for homeschooling, different ideas for teaching and different curriculums and book reviews. So if you're into that kind of thing, if you're just starting out homeschooling and you need advice or you want um, to have some ideas for different ways to teach your kids, I highly recommend her channel. She's awesome. And that is it for the people that I am going to tag. I do want to thank Karina one more time for tagging me. Um, you know I love you. You know I love your channel. So um, I thank you so much. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.